The last question that I asked you was, does age have something to do with this? The answer to that question is yes. So page seven, you've got a new graph. I know this new graph looks a little complicated, in some cases a little daunting, uh, but you've got enough under your belt now, you should be able to navigate this pretty easily. So we're gonna look at the indexes around the edge of this piece of paper on page seven. We we'll start by looking at the title. What is the title across the top? This is a potential progression chart. This is a visual depiction of a person's time span capability as they grow through their lifetimes. What is the index on the left hand side? It's divided up into eight segments called what? Strata. strata. Well, we've been talking about strata all morning, except now you know uh, there's more than five. It goes up to six, seven, and eight. Actually, it goes up to 9, 10, and 11, but I ran out of room on the paper, and quite frankly, what's the point? What's the index across the bottom? Age. Well, we all know that we have birthdays. Each year, we grow one year older. We grow one year more mature. One year wiser. We get better looking. But most importantly, our time span gets longer. It just gets longer at different rates and it peaks out at different places depending on who we are. So imagine if everyone in this room was age 20, we would all be gathered down in the lower left hand corner of this chart. But as we grow through our lifetimes, we all blossom. We just blossom at different rates, peak out at different places depending on who we are. So there is a new index on the right hand side now the right hand side is also divided up into eight segments, so there is a correlation with strata, but it's not strata, it's called what? Mode. What color is the word mode in? Red. red. So that's going to correspond with the red curvy lines. That would be a scientific term, curvy lines, on the page. So when we talk about strata, we're talking about tasks and roles. So here's a trick question. How long is a three-month project? Only three months. That's three months. That's why the line goes straight across the page. Except, of course, in construction. <laughs> but as we grow through our lifetimes, does our time span get longer? And so we look at the mode lines to indicate the pattern of a person's development as they mature. There are some dynamics the way that this works, so I prepared a short animation on the screen. So if you'll turn your attention to the screen, uh, you'll see that we're talking about strata, we're talking about roles, we're talking about modes, we're talking about people. If you'll look to below the line, mode one person before the age of 26 is actually below the line. Time span shorter than one day. But if you watch the screen, at age 26, you'll see this person emerge from below the line and peak with what stratum capability? Stratum 1 capability. So mode 1 is going to peak with stratum 1 capability. Let's look at mode 2. Now mode 2 in their late 20s is still operating with what stratum capability? 1. But if you watch the screen, you'll see this person emerge from stratum 1 and peak with what stratum capability? So mode 2 is going to peak with stratum 2 capability. So look at mode three. Mode three in their early 20s is still operating with what stratum capability? But if you watch the screen, you'll see this person emerge from stratum one, cross stratum two, and peak with what stratum capability? So mode three is gonna peak with stratum three capability. So look at mode four. Now to find mode four in stratum one, you may have to go off the page into their teenage years. But if you watch the screen, you'll see this person emerge from stratum one, cross stratums two and three, and peak with what stratum capability? So mode four is gonna peak with stratum four capability. Quick review. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, got it? If I could just take you back to when you were 20. Now when you were 20, I don't even know if you were working, you may have been going to school. But if I could just take you back to this particular Friday night when you were 20. See, I'm thinking on this particular Friday night, it was not you who went out to buy the beer. But I'm thinking that it was you who made sure that the beer got bought. 
Because even at the age of 20, you're already engaging in supervisory behavior that turned into managerial behavior to wherever you are in your career today. This potential progression chart is a visual depiction of a person's time span capability as they grow through their lifetime. Question, if you could accurately assess a person's time span capability, you could understand that they were effective in a specific level of work, and you also knew their age, so you knew their level of work, and you knew their age, could you plot them on this chart? And if you could plot them on this chart, could you then predict their capability one year into the future, five years into the future, ten years into the future? Now the answer to that question is, well, you could if this chart was reliable. Actually, most psychometric assessments believe they get a pretty good correlation with reality at 0.66. By the way, what's flipping a coin? Point. This has demonstrated inter-rater reliability between 0.89 and 0.97 off the charts, which means out of every 100 people, three are going to do something weird, and I know they probably work for you, but 97 of them will follow these maturation curves almost exactly. Now understand that the raw data is a bit more jagged. People jump up, they plateau out, they jump up and plateau out. Put all the data together, the lines smooth out. Visual depiction of a person's time span capability as they move through their lifetime. 